Ah! True intro to this video is gonna be delayed for the first 30 seconds and I'm going to explain why. Title of this video alone is already gonna give me a few red flags from the YouTube squad team, the mentor, ruler, overlord people. And for some of you guys that don't know, YouTube already has this demonetization system that clearly states that if your video has any vulgarity in the first 30 seconds, it automatically gets demonetized in any sense of the form. So to try to gain any lick of revenue from this video at all, I am going to try to not do my intro for the first 30 seconds of this video. So. How are you guys? Hey, nigga! I uh, hey, nigga! If the law didn't say that I couldn't kill the nigga, they'd all be dead! Nigga! 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 I haven't done this video in over a year. Yes, go on. Things happen, life takes over, I move. For those of you that don't watch my videos other than this content, um, please watch my other videos. What the fuck are you doing? React in the racist videos and post. Tweet it out. Ask you guys to send me some racist shit. Y'all yep. sent me some racist shit literally like 20 minutes ago, and now we're gonna do Also, it. haven't done my laundry in weeks. So y'all get this. It's me, Jesse and Ari. If we... If they test me, they sorry. Ride us up like a hurry and pull up in this Ferrari. Holiday season is coming up, and I decided why not react to some racist shit? Cause what's better than celebrating the holiday season in America than by celebrating it by doing America's favorite pastime? Being racist. Most of the things you guys send are pretty like fucked up and racist. But there's always that like one or two tweets that are kind of like, what? Y'all remember when that model chick dressed up as that shadow, packed out demon, Lord of the Rings, dropout shit? I don't know what the fuck it was. It's black and everything. And then some people were screaming that it was blackface. And then us black folks were like, what? I don't know what black people y'all be Googling, but honey, this ain't it. Sometimes the things y'all want to scream blackface at can be much more offensive than the actual thing itself. No functioning Negro is waking up like this on an average Tuesday. Okay, I'm serious this time. Send me racist video post. It's been a year since we've gone down this alley. And I am being serious. Serious. Look at me actually doing the shit I promised. This was at Halloween in Mexico. The guy that originally posted this got so much backlash he deleted it and temporarily deactivated his account. God damn, what happened? What do we do? What are we going on with? Let's go. What's happening here? How is this racist? How is Stop that. <laughs> you know how we say it's not nice to wear other people's cultures for Halloween? Let's apply that to every culture, you know? Not that this was just offensive to that culture. It's just like, that's just like a culture I don't want to see. They really sat here and was like, let's be the Ku Klux Klan for Halloween. I want to know the meeting that took place, the text thread that occurred to cause this to happen. Like, can you imagine? There had to be someone in that group that was like, I don't know. Come on, there's like, what, seven, eight of them? There had to be somebody that was like, maybe not. This was, that was not. We didn't, we didn't have to. People were killed. This is terrifying. Like, I literally lost my words. I didn't know what else to say. My mind got traumatized. They had the burning cross and everything. Like, low-key dedication points go off. But at the same time, stop. You know? I mean, we have seen white people dress up as Mexican bandits time and time again. Cholos and all that. So I guess it's time for the Mexicans to dress up as... A choice, bitch. A choice. Pretty much Gucci? What? This fandom is nothing full of toxic people. How many messages have we seen start off with that sentence? Let's be honest. Stan Twitter. But I will continue to support pretty much and Maggie regardless all the hate. What? Who's pretty much? Am I showing my age asking that question? I'm sorry. Is it another one of those? Another one of those. Oh, oh. You know, boy bands. I'm sorry. It's a shame y'all are staying here hating and telling me to kill myself over an opinion I grew up believing and get told to that whatever I think different is wrong. What? So it's a shame that people on the internet are acting like surprise people on the internet. Let's be honest. This place ain't clean. My parents strongly don't like black people. Okay, here we go. They continue to teach me not to also. If I choose to like black people, they would disown me as their child how how would they know just don't tell them i guess i don't know how to get you out of that situation maybe it's time to get this on girl i don't know those streets be looking comfortable if racism's involved you know what i mean that was bad that was bad i'm sorry i take it back i am doing what's best for me and i seriously feel threatened around black people in general oh okay so it's not just your parents you're also just 
Racist. That's great. I mean, racism is a learned trait, usually coming from parents or people above you. But at the same time, you can't be like, oh, if I like black people, my parents will disown me. But then at the same time, I don't like black people. So where are we going with this? But I thought liking a diversity boy band, diversity boy band, bitch, me, would cure that kind of mindset I have. But seeing Nick Mara saying he likes black girls made things worse for me. What? I still love pretty much every one of them. But Nick just different. Oh, Nick. That black. Black lover! Oh yes, I love pretty much. But that black lover has to go. Oh yes, pretty much is still my favorite boy band. But that Negro cuddler has a problem with me. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. I don't appreciate him going against his own race. What? In 2019? Why are people so like against the idea of mixing races? Like what is the fear of that? Last time I checked, races are not going extinct, bitch. I never understood that purism idea. Why is mixing of the races such like a scary thing to people? I mean, I understand the fetishization and all that stuff. That's bad. Don't do that. But if a white man wants to cuddle up with some melanin on a normal Sunday? Not him. Against his own race. Since when is interacting with other people with other colors of skin going against your color of skin? What is this? When both <laughs> Michael B. Jordan and Zac Efron live in the same universe? Bitch, no, I'm mixing this pot. Yeah, yeah. Have y'all seen some of these K-pop boy bands? Have y'all seen some of them lift up their shirts? Honey, no, purists stay away from me. I'm about to hurt y'all feelings. So in this video, a woman was trying to leave her apartment, but this lady was not allowing her to leave because this lady thought this woman who lived in this apartment was robbing her own apartment. People really got balls today, you know what I mean? Tell her to move. I'm gonna whoop your grandmother's ass. <laughs> And there's a kid. And she got a kid with her, watching her be racist. Okay. 2019. Stop boomers, 2019. That should be the slogan. You know, boomers need to stop. Still thinking the world is how it was 50 years ago. Out here thinking that this is a thing. Like, you can't do that. Like, you can't just stop a random person from exiting their building with no proof that they are a robber in what sense of the form. My favorite part is she's leaving the building and the woman asks, what are you going to do, rob somebody? Are you stopping this woman from walking out of her own building to go rob somebody? Like, you think she's gonna just walk out and go, like, steal a bush, bitch? Like, what's happening? Ah, uh, yeah. In the middle of the day, I'm just going to walk out of my building and go rob something. Like, it's just casual, bitch. It's just casual. I don't think that's a thing. I don't know. I don't, I've never robbed anything, but the last time I checked, I don't think it happens at, like... 11 a.m. If this ever were to happen to me, like if I was ever to be like profiled this hard, I don't even know what the fuck I would do. I'd probably go to jail, be honest. A lot of you guys sent this video to me. I've seen it like a few times, bitch. I'm woke. Who is worse, the drug dealer or the drug user? When it comes to slavery, blacks were the dealers, whites were the users. What? What are we dealing, bitch? Our lives? What were they using, bitch? Their idea that they were superior over other people just because of the color of their goddamn skin? Okay. Okay, I'm sorry that the color of my skin make you use that. Also, first of all, you know somebody's racist when they call black people black. Let's, let's, let's underline that for a second. I have never heard a black person in my entire goddamn life call black people black. Yeah. That's not a thing. I think I've already said this before in a previous video. But that's such like a hurting terminology. Black, black. I am a human. I'm not a sheep bitch. So owning slaves was a drug. Were they just so addicted to that racism? Is that why we had a war about it? Mm, makes sense. Y'all should have just done cocaine if that was the case. I mean, damn. Leave us alone, you know? Go pick up some meth. Stop being racist. Just do drugs. That's my slogan. That's 2020. <laughs> why be problematic when you can just do meth? Isn't that right, kid? Crack is for everyone. Why think one race is superior over another, you know? There's plenty of marijuana to go around, bitch. We don't need to fight about it. Also, when someone has a profile picture like that, I've kind of come to the conclusion that you're not supposed to believe single shit they say. Doesn't help if they're also verified making these tweets, honey. All of my tweets with photos are now marked as sensitive material because this one time I posted a photo of Peppa Pig, but instead of Peppa Pig's face, it was a chode. But I'm the problem now. I'm the problem, apparently. People out here tweeting this at 8.51 a.m. Having time on their schedule, as it seems. And they get to walk around with this blue check mark. But if I post a picture of Peppa Pig as a penis, I'm the problem. Honestly, it's the truth we live in, you know? Corporations and people in this world don't find racism as much as a problem as it is. And that is a problem in itself, goddammit. Because they're afraid if they intervene, there's gonna be a lot more consequences on their half. And I say to that, stop being a pussy ass bitch and intervene. If you own a platform that is as influential to future generations and future aspects of history, then you have the responsibility to intervene to help shape the minds of these future generations 
that you are now feeding information to. I really don't want to be living in a world where these dangerous ideologies are allowed to roam freer than they've ever been in their entire life. Twitter and social media didn't exist 30 years ago when they were spitting at elementary school kids entering school all because of the color of their goddamn skin. Goddamn, if it did, this would be an entire different conversation. But no, y'all just let the people that did that 30 years ago now come onto this platform and spew some more bullshit. Cause yes, the majority of the people that were doing the outrageously racist shit that we were taught about in school are still alive today. Still alive and functioning, that's the problem. But these sites don't care about that. All they care about is this coin hunting. Here we have Caitlyn Bennett. I don't give a shit about this woman. Like I get it, y'all love to be mad at her, but I'm not giving her the time of day anymore. That's what's giving her this power. I'm tired. That's it, I'm tired. Like she's trying and I'm tired of Like it. you know those people that like try their hardest to offend someone every single goddamn day? Yeah. Tired of it. Let's watch a video. I need more videos. Pete Buttigieg, I don't give a shit. Can you lend a nigga? A pencil. What? Have I seen this? We're watching it again. If I have, I don't care. Jefferson County High School teacher has now received the longest suspension on record calling a student the N-word. Wow. Yummy. Oh, wait. No, I've seen this. I've so seen this. I think I've reacted to this before. I'm not even sure, but like... Bitch. From the door. Nigga. Why, why is this word used so frequently? So I just don't understand it. He does understand it. Bitch acting like he is not 50 years old. Grew up in the Jim Crow era. Probably heard this word yelled at black people 24 seven around his life. Acting like I have no idea why this word is being used. Bitch, you know. Bitch, you know with your old ass. Stop lying. There it goes. <laughs> Wrote it down on a piece of paper to show the difference. I, I, I've used it. I put the H on it to emphasize. Yeah. Oh my God. That, you know, nigga, nigga this. Nigga. Please. Nigga, you know, can you lend a nigga a pencil? <laughs> What a classic. Have I reacted to that before? I don't know. I need to look back. It's been years, guys. I'm gonna find something like offensive. Like, I wanna get mad for a second, you know what I mean? Let's like laugh at some bullshit together, guys. Someone sent me this. It says, not because you're a rabbit. It's anime. You are pathetic. When he died, I was so sad that I would never hear that voice again. <laughs> Chiro Tabi, please forgive me for bringing you back to life. I know now that it could never work between us. As much as we wanted to, it could never be. What is happening? Not because you're a rabbit, but because you're black. What? <laughs> what? Not because you're a rabbit, but because you're black. What? What is the context? Maybe there's a long story behind it. Maybe there's something else added to it. But girl, what a sound bite. We got one. We got another one. Because you're black. Let's do one more. Let's do one more and then we're gonna call it a day. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'm feeling frisky afterwards. We'll see. You're gonna get pissed off at the ulti for me saying nigga. Ooh. I don't really say it to people, like, straight up, like, you're a... Like, I usually say I it to, say like, it. joke around, but, like... Joke around, bitch? Who's laughing? You say the N-word with a hard R to joke around? You call people the N-word as a joke? Ooh, child. Who cares what the fuck happened to you somewhat years ago? It's not like you experienced it. Woo! Woo! You can experience this ass whooping. I don't know. You're not experience it, bitch. I guess she watches Fox News. I guess she hasn't, you know, see what's literally been going on right now. A black man was tasered for not paying a $2.75 fee to ride the train. But go ahead and call me the N-word with the hard R because we're not experiencing racism anymore. We're not getting whipped. We're just getting shot. That's different. It's different. Call me the hard R. I mean, I wish you could go experience it. Oop. I mean, I do too. Like, wouldn't it be fun to go pick some cotton? Oop. Let's hope this girl has like a trust fund or something. <laughs> Let's hope this girl has some type of income in the future that she can depend on and can be this problematic and still live a life. Cause honey, you about to be homeless. We're just stuck in Iowa, bitch. That's probably worse. I don't know. On the other hand, you black people are mad at us for something that happened how many years ago? I didn't do it. Not that long ago, actually, honey. Let's underline this. Just because you weren't born when it happened doesn't mean the thing that happened happened so long ago. You're only like, what, 16? 16 years ain't that long. People are still alive from the Jim Crow era. There are Holocaust survivors walking around like it's a normal day in the city. It was not that long ago. Just because you weren't born in it does not mean the effects of it aren't still around. Check your privilege. Check your privilege. Everything
every single goddamn day before you sit here crying because nobody wants to hire your racist ass. Just check it. Google some shit a little bit, you know? Like, we didn't do it. So and stop being pissed off at us for using the word. Girl. I didn't do it. I wasn't racist back then. So that gives me the excuse to be racist now. I'ma pray for this girl. I don't even pray. People like this actually exist. People like this actually exist. That's the problem. That's the situation we live today. How can you justify saying the N-word with the hard R like it's a normal conversation? I wanna know. I wanna find that out. Please tell me. She really sat up here and was like, slavery wasn't a thing when I was alive. So let me be racist real quick because we're overdue. Are we overdue? Racism didn't happen in a certain amount of years according to your head, so now you're allowed Allowed to be racist. What kind of progress? The last person to be lynched in Los Angeles was so long ago. So let me go outside and kill some black people real quick. You know, cause we're overdue. We're overdue, you know? It's acceptable now because it just happened before I was born. Because I wasn't born when it happened, I can totally do it now. I can totally be racist. Huh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to society. We really be living in it. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I've been sitting here for like an hour and a half. But let's end it on my favorite video real quick. Here we go. Wait, what did we learn today, kids? Just stop. If your excuse as to why you can say and do racist things because racism hasn't been a thing for a certain amount of years, apparently, then please, please, for mother of God, read something that isn't Fox News, okay? Stay off of Facebook. Stay off of Facebook. You know what? That's the moral of the story. Stop. All y'all problematic people being racist and shit, stop Facebooking. That is not helping you. That is not helping anybody. Like, these articles you're reading, this bullshit you're consuming. Like, no. A black person is not just gonna walk out of their place of residence and go rob someone on a random day just because they feel like it. That's not a thing. And you know what? When in doubt, be a bunny. That's how you do it in anime. Moral of the story, we really be living in a society. <coughs> yeah. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go die. Comment down below. What is your favorite prescription drug? Mine is penicillin because I'm asthmatic as fuck. Ah! <laughs> My name's Maggie, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, babe. It's me, Jesse, and Ari. It's me, Jesse. If they test me, they sorry. Battles up like a Harvey and pull up in the... It's me, Jesse, and Ari. It's me, Jesse. If they test me, they sorry. Battles up like a Harvey and pull up in the... It's me, Jesse, and Ari. If they test me, they sorry. Battles up like a Harvey and pull up in the Ferrari.